All right, Bringy. You're on 842 health. I'm dead. The score is 5-7. We're losing, but I believe in you. You can still do this. You can still do this, Bringy. Yeah, you've got the E75. Oh, you bounced. He's on fire. Oh, fire extinguisher. He's pushing you back. No. Well, you killed him, Brinchy, but... What? You're not stuck, are you? Oh, this is one of the rarest things you will ever see in World of Tanks. A Brinchy fail. It's usually one of mine. Yeah, I think you're stuck, Brinchy. I think you're stuck. And if that E-75 intentionally rammed you, then it was really, really good play by him. Yep, I think you're stuck, dude. Hi guys, and welcome to the Ace Tanker for the T3 HMC. T3 because it's a trial tank, and HMC because it's a howitzer motor carriage. Uh, this is the Tier 2 American Tank Destroyer that was introduced in 9.12 to replace the T18. Now the T18 was moved to Tier 3 RT because in real life it was designed as an RT and it was replaced by this, the T3, which in real life was designed as an RT. <laughs> so yeah, um, T18 moved because it wasn't historically accurate and was actually an SPG. So they replaced it with a tank that was an SPG. Uh, this is a prototype, only one was ever built. It was built in 1938 and it was built on the chassis of an M1 combat car. Now that's not the M1 light tank. The M1 light tank was a later variation of the M1 combat car, but this is the M1 combat car and it got not this gun. This gun is not historically accurate. It came with a 75 millimeter howitzer, which was historically accurate accurate and it was the only gun the tank was ever tested with so uh, the fact we get a choice of three guns with the T3 is not historically accurate it's supposed to come with the 75 mm millimeter howitzer which is actually on stat wise quite good it's got 175 uh, damage but um, incredibly high alpha damage for a howitzer but especially a tier 2 but uh, yeah, I, I tried playing this tank with the howitzer, you know, in homage to the T-18. When I first got this tank in my garage, I stuck the howitzer on it because that's what it was supposed to come with. And that, that's what I used to use on the T-18 on those rare occasions I played that puppy kicking monster. Um, but yeah, I, I this tank just made me want to rage quit. Trying to play this tank with the howitzer made it almost unplayable. The aim time, the accuracy of the howitzer was just incredibly bad. And if you missed your shot in the howitzer, or you didn't kill the tank you were aiming at and it was shooting back at you, you were going to die because this tank has absolutely no armor. Absolutely no armor. And on top of that, as you can see from where the gun is mounted here, it's got a very, very large flat pro profile. And just like the M3 Lee, it's got an extra turret on top and a uh, machine gun turret. Um, you know, you, you expose your tank. Tanks can shoot this even when you think you're hidden and you're hull down. So, you know, I didn't enjoy my time in this tank at all. It's got terrible view range and um, yeah absolutely no armor so about the only strength that this tank has is its speed which is an incredible 72 or 73 kilometers an hour this tank drives in a straight line at 73 kilometers an hour it's very fast to accelerate it's got a very very fast top speed but like I say it's got terrible view range and it's got terrible armor so if you try to put that speed into use you're just going to end up dying which is something that happened again and again and again in this tank this tank made me want to rage quit more than once I ended up playing you know probably far more games than I'd care to admit in order to get 
get the ace in this tank because just that speed forces you to play it aggressively and this tank cannot be played aggressively. It doesn't have a lot of hit points, it's a tank destroyer, has no armor and can easily, easily be killed by anything with an autoloader, anything firing HE and um, yeah, just can't trade damage with enemy tanks, just can't do it. So didn't enjoy my time in this tank very well, much but uh, in real life the uh, tank was a prototype and it was kind of a disaster for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, the you can see that the gun is very very exposed here because the front doors around the gun are open and it had to have the front doors on the front of the tank open in order to use the gun because when these doors were shut to provide protection to the crew unfortunately they closed on the gun and the gun had absolutely no gun traverse so in order to use the gun with the doors closed you had to turn the tank in order to get your gun on target which wasn't very practical and in order to use the gun traverse you had to open the doors which left no protection for the crew which uh, again was not very practical uh, also it only had two crew members as you're going to see it had a driver and it had a commander and the commander also happened to be the radio operator the loader and the the gunner so he had four jobs to do um so that was mainly the two reasons it was rejected it never made it beyond prototype in 1938 one is the fact that the gun basically was unusable with the doors closed and two that the tank even though it only had two crew members was just too small for the crew they couldn't operate efficiently and basically in a combat situation where they had to think fast it was just too uncomfortable too cramped so the project was rejected but as i say it was an spg in real life now Probably the only one saving grace that maybe, maybe might excuse Wargaming from putting it in as a TD to replace another TD that was historically an SPG. Um, the one saving grace is that uh, in 1940 the tank was revisited and uh, maybe, maybe on the off chance that it could be converted into a tank destroyer. But uh, yeah, they took one look at the tank, remembered all the problems from 1938 when it was being tested as an SPG and figured yes, it was going to have exactly exactly the same problems as a tank destroyer. It just had no protection for the crew with the doors open, but you had to have them open in order to use the gun efficiently, and it was just far too cramped and uncomfortable for the crew to use in a combat situation. So uh, it was rejected as a potential tank destroyer as well, but that's probably the only saving grace as to why it's maybe a tank destroyer in game. But as I say, it was originally designed as an SPG and put into the tank destroyer line to replace another tank that was historically an SPG and then moved to the SPG line. So, uh, yeah, logic, logic. Uh, moving on. This is my first ace of the tank. And as I say, it took me more games than I care to admit. We are here on mines and we are just going to go. Now, I've learned from experience that this tank is absolutely horrible if you try to play it too aggressively. The position of the gun means that you expose a lot of your tank on the left-hand side on occasion. Uh, if you try to go hold down, you expose that turret uh, that is completely useless on top of the tank. But uh, we're just going to play very passively. And this is one of the few games I decided to play passively. But I didn't like this tank because you're forced to play passively. Um, I'm also not using the historically accurate howitzer because, as I say, the howitzer was absolutely awful on this tank. Um, basically, what I think it is is it's Wargaming getting revenge. Um, so I'm using the 40mm. Uh, which, as you can see, gets 45 alpha damage and 64 millimeters of penetration. I'm a tier 2 in a tier 3 game. And as you can see, I've got a scrub crew. No sixth sense. My accuracy is not fantastic. My gunner is not fantastic. And I've just bounced on a light tank VZ38. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of bounces on this tank. So even though the, on paper the penetration is quite good, I found even this gun bounces a lot. But this gun is a joy to use compared to the howitzer, which if you miss in the howitzer, you're probably going to die. And um, you're going to miss a lot when you use the howitzer. But as you can see, I'm having trouble keeping my gun on target because even though the front doors on the tank are open, it's still got incredibly poor traverse. Really, really poor traverse. Um, so, but anyway, we've uh, done a little bit of damage. We're up to 135. We're playing incredibly passively. Miss another shot. And you can see me constantly adjusting the hull of this tank. There we go, another miss. Constantly adjusting the hull to try and get my gun on target. It's just not a fun tank to play. And um, even though I've got permanent camo on this tank, because it used to be the T-18. Hey, my first kill. Um, I sold it straight after this game. Because <laughs> I just never, ever want to play this tank again. 
Uh, moving on, we've picked up one kill, we've done the whole 200 damage. Go for a blind shot, miss it, and now there's an AMX-38 running down. Now, as you can see, I've got a, an orange reticule. I'm missing, I'm bouncing. 64 millimeters of penetration, I've had to switch to premium ammo in order to do any damage whatsoever. So 121 millimeters of penetration with the premium ammo, and I hate firing premium ammo, and we're still missing shots. And we leave him on five hit points, do a little bit more damage, don't get the kill, but go for a blind shot and take out the Type 91. Switch back to regular ammo, there's a Stuart, and we've just picked up two, three, well, two kills in quick succession. So we're on three kills. It's still, we're still technically losing. The score is 7-8, and I've got no shots on a D2 or a Panzer II. But uh, yeah, my problem in this tank is because we do over 72 kilometers an hour, I play it far too aggressively, and I, I just, I like medium tanks, I like playing tanks aggressively, I don't like playing passively. Ah, we're bouncing, and we miss out on a kill. So more bounces with the regular ammunition. But uh, three RT in this game, I'm looking at the team's list now, and I'm noticing three RT are left on the enemy team, along with a UE-57, and a couple of other tanks, and I'm wondering, maybe, maybe they're camping... Maybe the one two lines is free. I'm getting bored. I've got 72 kilometers an hour top speed and any moment now. Oh, never mind. Now we know where the UE 57 is. And we know where the Panzer 2 is, so that just leaves a Panzer 2D. And even the Panzer 2D being a terrible tank, a terrible gift tank. Oh, there's the FCM-36. So now I know where every single tank on the enemy team is. So the three RT have been left undefended, and I decide, okay, let's go, let's go. I want to get some kills out of this game. I want to do a little bit more damage. But um, yeah, even the terrible tank that is the Panzer II D would be able to tear this tank apart. Absolutely wreck it. So even the worst tanks in the game have no problems dealing with a T3 HMC. But uh, our team take out the Panzer II and the FCM-36. That means that three RT and a Panzer II D are left. We're advancing. We're doing 72 kilometers an hour. Well, we're doing 60 kilometers an hour, but it can get up to 72. Hey, we've hit 72 kilometers an hour. So uh, terrible view range pushing forward. I've got Binox and a Camonet equipped because, as I say, this tank forces you to play it incredibly passively if you don't want to die horribly like I did in many, many games. But uh, this is just about using its speed to do some flanking and playing passively at the beginning, waiting for the map to open up, reading the mini-map, recognizing when tanks are almost dead, when there's a free run to the enemy base, and we've just spotted the Panzer II D and the Sexton, so getting my own spots, doing my own damage. And as you can see, the rate of fire is not too bad on this, ta on this gun, which is not historically accurate for the tank, but... Am I going to get a kill? Can't see an outline. Not much to shoot at. Oh, this Sexton too. He's not going to give me the kill, is he? No, he's not. So we'll go to work on the Panzer II D. And we miss, because that's what this gun does a lot. And we don't get the kill. So one tank left. It's another RT. Uh, 26. Miss on the move, but I decide, yeah, this tank is fast enough. It's got no armor, but we'll ram him to death. So uh, there's four kills and just 531 recorded damage. But thankfully, that was enough to pick up the ace. No other medals, but I don't care. Sold this tank straight after the game. Um, I, I hate this tank. As I say, I think it's, it's, it was a joke by Wargaming. Uh, I think it was a trick that Wargaming played on its player base. They didn't like so many players playing T-18s, which was incredibly overpowered, and they replaced the most overpowered Tier 2 tank destroyer with a tank that's completely underpowered, that is horrible to play. And a lot of people who had T-18s, and I've paid for camo and I've paid for all this other equipment are suddenly stuck with this which is just as I say the armor is terrible the profile is terrible the gun handling is terrible the howitzer is terrible uh, it's just the view range is horrible and the gun traverse is not good um, and the penetration even though on paper looks okay for the gun I was using the 40 millimeter it just it, it bounces a hell of a lot so um yeah i think i think wargaming had a joke 
on everyone who had a T-18 in their garage. They replaced it with one of the worst tanks in the game, in my opinion. Uh, but happy to have gotten the ace and get out of the tank and sell it. So uh, 725 XP was enough to get the ace, 574 damage done and 4 kills. Uh, 38 shots fired, we only managed to hit 19. Now I don't know whether it was the fact I had a brand new scrub 75% crew in the tank, or whether it was just incredibly bad gun handling, or maybe just me aiming incredibly badly, but I found in almost every game I played in this tank, the gun just would not work. Uh, we spotted two, which is amazing considering this tank has no bloody view range, but that's because we went up one flank and it was the RT and the Panzer II D camping and spawn we managed to spot. Otherwise we didn't spot a single tank except at the very end of the game um, because the view range as I say is terrible. Uh, we damaged eight, destroyed four, did 301 assistance damage and only earned 6,800 credits with a premium account because I had to fire a couple of premium rounds. And you have to fire a little bit of premium in this tank because when you come up against heavily armored tier threes you just can't damage them with the gun unless you can get side or rear shots but um, yeah I just didn't enjoy this tank very much it was a prototype and it was rejected because it was awful <laughs> in game I think it's awful it's reflected so I suppose historical accuracy there from wargaming they took a real life tank that was awful and they've made it awful in game anyway um yeah i know there's been a lot of low tier stuff on the channel recently it's just the order i'm getting to do things i have a ton an absolute ton of higher tier ace tankers that are going to be coming to the channel soon but uh these are some of the earliest games i played in 914 and they're on my backlog and i'm just trying to get through them so uh thanks for watching i'll see you next time